three, two, and one. YouTube, what it do? It's your boy, Steph TV. I'm in the building, man. Um, I, I got a reaction video. Oh, yeah. S14 is back with the reaction video. Ah, uh, man. This one, it's, uh, it, this one is, like, trending, like, on TikTok. It's BK Chat. Um, this is, you know, I can't stand a man who earns less. And it's, it's going crazy on TikTok. Um, Steph is cold. Made it go crazy on TikTok. We have to admit that. Oh, uh, there's been older videos. This video is like six months old. But, um, you know, I, I want to react to it. And I was watching this last night. This is my first one I actually seen through. And it brought some points of like what the girls were saying and what the guys were saying and it's like man why do women think like this man so let's just get straight into this video i skipped most of it because when i was watching a little bit last night and i was watching like steph's a little bit uh what was it last week i was like okay now i know why they skipped because in the beginning it was boring so let's get straight into this one I know she has a lot of interesting points in this because I've spoken to her outside. No, you don't. You don't have a lot of interesting points. You don't. Um, I'm going to say it like this. Everything you said is complete wrong and BS. Period. Let's get straight into this one. <laughs> so let her speak. Okay, so for me, I've done international politics degree. I've got my degree. I might go okay. back for another degree. But for me, I don't see myself working... I don't see myself getting a nine to five. I wanna be hold on a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a minute. I wanna be I wanna be with a man who's a provider, mm -hmm. who will allow me to be a housewife. Mm -hmm. I wanna live a, I wanna be a lady of leisure. Tell me about the birthday thing you told me. Please, I want you to I wouldn't you. buy a man a birthday gift. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god, man. Oh so you got your degree for nothing and you feel in your head that you should be wined and dined and you you feel like you don't have to do anything for the guy who's a provider. You feel like you feel as a woman in your prime right now you feel like you don't deserve... I mean, you don't have to do anything. You just feel like you should be wanted down. You are absolutely crazy. You absolutely lost your mind. Fellas, as we go through the video, listen to what this woman says and, and just pay attention to like all these women who just completely say this BS. It is it is just absolutely mind-blowing, bro. Like, ugh. He has me! He has me! He has he, he he has you, but he you have oh my man, my man DJ. He has nothing else but just a woman in her looks. That's it. <laughs> that's all. That's all he has. Like it's just completely insane. Let's just keep going. <laughs> No, 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 stop, stop, stop. I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. You, yourself, I'm... You're useless. You're useless. You're fucking useless. Yeah. See, here's the thing. When you're together with someone as of living, it's supposed to be, I help you, you help me. Let's help our children together. Not where the woman feels like you have to help me and I can just use you. And then when you have nothing else to offer, you cannot give me anything else. I'm going to take what I can get and toss you to the side. That is not that is not the most smartest thing a woman should be thinking about. No, 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 period. It's absolutely mind blowing. And it's crazy, too, that those other women who actually believe in that. 
in 2022 is not. Let's just keep going. It's not useless. It's just like, yo, like your thinking is, it's not, yo, like the way she thinks, you're not going to get that. With the with the type of guys that you're gonna get, you're not gonna get that. Let's just keep going. Oh wait, wait, no, let me land, let me land, no, 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 let me land, let me land. How about the men? How about the men? How about the men that have it? Okay. Listen. Okay, let me, let me say this too. There are guys who there are guys who do have these figures, who do drive these Lambos, these Porsches, and stuff like that. There are some pushovers, but. Let me tell you, let me tell you ladies something, because I be in L.A. I am in Beverly Hills. Majority of those guys don't care because just how women could just uh, use the guys they don't like and toss them to the streets or do whatever they want. That rich dude, he could replace you just like that because he can get 10 of you. And that's what's going on in 2022. We got to like, you know what I'm saying? The realistic thing, it, yo, these guys, <laughs> women like this think so dumb. All right, let's just keep going, right? You don't have the money to be able to afford a woman like me. You need to pipe down. Wow. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Through this video, right? I want you guys to really like listen how Everything to these women is all about money. That's all it is, right? That I just want you guys to listen to that. Everything to these women, even today's women, is all about money. He has to do this. He has to take care of me. He has to spend this. He has to do that. He has. What about the other stuff that women want too? What about that? Let me tell you guys. Let me tell a lady something. You're not going to get that. Because that money gonna come in, but when it's time to get them cheeks clapped in the bed or, or you know, the affection what women want, because women want so much, you're not going to get it because he's too busy out there grinding. That's why I say with, with like a lot of females, it's like you want this guy who makes a lot of money, right? But you also, too, want a guy to show you some L-O-V-E, you know, and all this other stuff. Yo, what do you want? And let me say this too, right? The average millionaire guy or the guy who has his own investments, let's just be real realistic. Bro, he's putting in at least seven to eight to 10 hours a day. He might have a weekend. He might. So with... It's just like, ladies, y'all got to understand, bro. Like, y'all want these millionaire guys to take care of you, but what about everything else? Most guys don't, most millionaire guys don't tolerate this crap. They don't. They don't at all. They don't at all, bro. They don't. They be like, okay, I got what I want. You can leave if you want. You ain't going to get another one of me. So, are you ready? So, so. Hi, hi, madam. Madam. Madam, madam. Are you listening, yeah? Let me tell you something, too. That woman in the black dress is the most delusional one out of all of them. Actually, that one and the one who's talking. Just keep listening. You, you just said, all right, cool. Now done your degree. More I'm not going to use it. I'm no, quick, I'm not quick, quick question. Use it. Quick question. No, no, that's... I, I'm not going to use it. So what is the point of putting yourself in going through whatever, what, three, four years of college for? You just got your degree just to put it on the wall? Like, what? what is... Wow. Calm, that's calm. That's calm. That's calm. That's calm. Mm. It's not Pokemon. No, stop, bro. No, look, look, you just said it's you're not going to use it. I, I I don't know your circumstance, but less than nine times out of ten, you're going to be a student debt. Cool. You, you, wait, 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 wait. You now say you want to do another degree. So you, so you already got debt. Hold on, hold on. You, My previous boyfriend paid. He paid, mm. he paid for the degree. You're minus 50. Previous boyfriend paid for it. So basically... This guy you were dating paid your whole entire debt off. And what did you do? You left him. And you're not even going to use your degree, which you may need later on in the future because you want to have kids. How are your kids going to survive? How are you going to 
put food in their bed? How you gonna have a, a home, a roof over their head? Like, how you gonna do all that? But you want to get wined and dined and all, like, don't it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. Like, it's either she's doing that for the camera or she just really believes in that. And it's like, ladies, you cannot think, you cannot have this type of thinking. Later, I'm going to keep going. You cannot have this type of thinking later on in life, bro. Hey, already. You're not going to do another degree. So, uh-uh, uh-uh. She's going to inject. She's going to inject. She's going to inject. Her ex page. Her ex page. Okay, your ex page. Cool. Check, check, check. You're, you're living happy. I, I wonder what happened between those two. He paid. He paid her off, and he just tossed her, and he just tossed him away. So you can get another one. Life, let me have life. That that ex, whatever. However, however, you're now relying on other people to pay for to wait, wait, to pay to pay to pay for your own lifestyle. Before, look, look, okay, he should. He should. Wow. He should. Oh my God. So he, so you're basically saying he has to prove himself, pay for, you know, all the things you want, pay your education off. And then you don't have to, and you don't have to do anything for him, but sit there, look and look and just exist. Bro, what in the world is wrong with these women? Wow. <laughs> oh, man, bro. Yo. Wow. Man. Yeah, I, yo, my man with the hat tilt to the side, it's just like, yo. He's sitting there in the back of his mind is like, yo, like, you know, finding... A cool chick is pointless because there's more women like that who who actually think that way. Wow. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Why? 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 I can't retain it. Why? I do. He has to pay the rent. He has to pay for the house. He has to pay for the food. He has to pay the house, the rent, the food, and also for the kids or whatever she wants. And she has to do nothing, but get treat, but treat him like a peon. Wow! Oh my god! When I was watching this last night, I was like, "Yo, these women are crazy, bro." Man, this is this is bad, bro. This is really bad. But can I say something? Yeah. But why are you why are you attacking her when they're actually men willing to do that for her? Why yeah, are you yeah, yeah. Her? yeah, they are they are actual idiots willing to do that because why? Because they have no backbone. They have no they have no say so. And the reason why is because and, and let me tell you guys, like I always say in these videos, I always say, when it's your turn, when you get up. And in your job, your status, and you know the type of money that you want to make, and the type of lifestyle, these these are the type of women you got to deal with. That's why we question it. It's just like that's what I have to get after putting all this work and this grinding just for that. A chick who looked like a a, a chick who's almost built like a linebacker. That's what I have to deal with. Wow, bro. <laughs> Yo. Agenda. Those guys have an agenda. <laughs> Those guys have an agenda. Yeah. Those simps have an agenda. And there's more of them. There's there's guys out there right now who are just literally sitting there and being like, oh well, I'm just gonna take it because she looked good. Cause you were born. You, Guys, don't be a pushover. Holy shoot, man. It doesn't matter. She's compatible. Did you not She's compatible. She's fucking compatible. A girl who does nothing and exists, right? Versus is compatible with a guy who has it all. That's compatible? Like, seriously, that's compatible? She does nothing. She said it herself. 
I got my degree. I don't want to use it. I just want to sit there, look good. And he has to literally fight a whole army by himself. Or he has to completely prove himself and have everything. Ladies, why, why do y'all think like this? Why do y'all think like this? I, I don't understand. Why do y'all think this way? Why? <laughs> oh, I'm trying not to scream in this parking lot, bruh. I'm fucking compatible. She wants to be a queen, and she's find a man who treat her like one. It's not your She wants to be treated like a queen, but it's okay for her to treat a man like a peon. Why can't she treat him like a king? What? You see what I'm saying, guys? Like, you see where I'm... <laughs> this is this is ridiculous. It's really... Yo, I'm telling you, man. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. Because you don't want to do it. Let's call a spade a spade. NK and J. Edwards. You do not have the facilities, the facilities to look after Madam Ikra. That's why you're hating. You can never look after a woman. You guys are too broke. Maybe it's because you're young. Fair enough. I'll give you that. But don't hate on her because there are many, 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 many men who gladly look after a woman. Um, let, me, let me tell you guys something. There are guys who are well off, but to me, um, a rich man or a successful man is one who has his business or you know his his money or his lifestyle um continuing to grow for a long time a lot of guys out here are not wealthy a lot of guys so her saying there's plenty of men out here. yeah yeah there's guys who have businesses but usually sometimes two businesses don't last that long or millionaires like there's not a lot of millionaires there's very few black millionaires so for her to say there's plenty of plenty of them yeah no 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 there isn't i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry there's a lot of men who are into the bit but it's like the real testament is how long can you make that business last so for her to say that you're wrong sis you're wrong shorty you're wrong you're wrong Game just because you can't play. Wow, like, okay. Why you don't have the money? You don't have the money. You don't have the money. You don't have the money. See, every like, like I said, guys, everything is with money. Everything with women nowadays is the status, the money, the looks. But what happened to? But, but, but you know what's funny? Women say, oh, we want a guy or a person. No, you don't. No, you don't. Some women do, some. But everything to them is materialistic things, bro. It's... Uh, I have the body. I have the fresh It's compatibility. They are compatible. Yeah, you're not. You don't have the money. Like her, yeah? her? Wait, hold on. This song, I only... <laughs> Yo, this girl's yeah, crazy. They have more power. They want to be an abuse. Tell me. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. It's just that you know, like I was joking with my man um, when we was talking about it with my homie. We were talking about it like, yo, she has that that rich guy y'all whine and want and want so bad. He has the the key to your life, and he can take that away from you. And then where are you gonna end up? Back at your mama house. Back in the streets. Back in. Uh, I don't know, Georgia with, with grandma. All sad and complaining. Oh, I can get me another one. Oh, you cannot. Especially the way this these women look. Oh, my God. That belt is not going to keep that weight. <laughs> Sorry. You can't vote them. If you have a uni degree, you need to go and use that. No, she doesn't. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Lonnie, please. Let's the woman speak, not her spokesperson. 
She can speak for herself. As a matter of fact, she has some interesting things that she has to say. I want to hear it from her mouth directly. Look, for me, yeah, I, since the start of uni, I never really wanted to use my degree. I never had any plans to use it. Obviously, I think going to uni is important, you know, get the knowledge, whatever, but I was with a guy, he already paid for the degree. I didn't need... Wow! I didn't what happened need to, to know, but I did... Hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. I've never, I've never been beaten, I've never been spoken to disrespectfully. I've been treated Have really you had the well doo-doo contract in Dubai? Huh? <laughs> Have you had the doo-doo no, contract? Don't, don't call me a prostitute. Yo, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I asked you a question. Have you had the doo yeah. <laughs> I love my my London people, man. I, I love the UK, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it over there, yo. I love it. Contract in Dubai, yes or no? That, that's that's one of, are you still with him? No. He's a dickhead, bro. Like, <laughs> wow. Boy, you see, the thing is... Everyone... You see what I'm saying? Like, yo. you Like, and, and just basically it just shows right here. Are you still with him? No, because... And, and like, she don't even care about him. No appreciation. Yo, this dude just took care of my whole entire education. I appreciate him. Nope. Thanks what I thanks for giving me thanks for paying for me let off. I'm out. That's all it is. And what's she gonna do? Find another one. Like I say, women don't appreciate guys like this. They want these type of guys, but they don't appreciate them. That's why these sugar daddies are just pushovers, bro. Comes on Instagram or on social media just talking shit about how they're on tour or they're on trips and right. they're living this high life. But they don't tell you about the doo doo contract. Yep. They don't tell you about the sugar daddy yep. who is actually. Yep, yep. And how do I know this? Because um, when I was at an event in Sacramento, I was talking to, I was um, chit chat with all the ladies. All they were talking about, oh, girl, this is. This is a dating website where there's sugar daddies and you, all you got to do is text them and you get paid a thousand dollars. Oh, shoot, girl, I need my rent paid. But they don't. But but when they post on Instagram flexing and, and with all this other stuff, I, none of that is being talked about. They don't talk about like basically I, I got to sell my soul or sell my body just to just get the type of money I want to get the to get these hair and nails done <sighs> crazy yo facilitating this whole speak facts. Instagram antics you know what I mean and that's one thing these girls need to say with their chest if you come out here and talk about all this fancy lifestyle yeah. talk about the the sugar that you have to give in return Jesse calling me a prostitute or calling women a prostitute when they have higher standards it's giving me broke man vibes. Broke men man vibes. vibes. <laughs> broke man vibes. If he's gonna pay fifty grand, just like that, he's a millionaire. What? Wait, 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 wait. What? If he's gonna pay 50, 60 grand, he's a millionaire. No. What are you? What? What, what are you talking about, chick? What are you talking about? Oh, honey, honey, honey. What is it going on? question that is it yeah what happens now yeah god forbid yeah, if your husband gets sick and it can't work then i have to find a new one oh my god she she gonna get another one to die, so. what the hell i have to find a new one that's all she can say and, and this girl right here she gonna say oh we don't claim that that's all she can say. I can just find a new one. And everything will be ha yo. There's a chick in my gym right now who has that who looks just like those women have that same mentality. I can just find me a new dude then why why are you still at this gym? <laughs> Ladies, y'all y'all really believe in this garbage? Man, you got a long road ahead of you. <laughs> she gonna get him. Let me tell you something about Ikria. She's gonna go to the hospital bed and choke her husband. She's gonna... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what's funny? The two women who be like, oh, we don't claim that. You know, they, they think the same way. Oh, I can just find me a new dude. But as a guy, we have to prove ourselves. What? No, no, no. I didn't know that they sell husbands in the shop. <laughs> Just like that. What happened to his sickness and health? Till death do us apart. 
they put the camera on and everyone just starts talking. They just start talking. Just because your financial situation has changed, everything finished, scatter. When did it ever become a situation where when you chose a life partner, it was based off superficial factors? Oh, 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 oh. I, I will say, I will say, but I have to find a new man. I will have to find a new Yeah, you, you man, no, 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 no. You, you, you see? Like Stephanie Cole said in these video, those two chicks, they looking like, ah, why you say that? You know that's true. Like, yo, <laughs> yo, I, I laugh, man, because it's like, yo, women don't get it. Like, yo, y'all, y'all females don't get it, man. Ladies, I'm going to tell you right now, let me just get this out of the way because I've been wanting to say this. I was going to wait at a certain point. If you think like this, if you think like you can just get a new rich guy or get whatever you want, let me tell y'all something, man. If you don't listen to guys like T.K. Kirkland, AMS, you're going you gonna to hit a hard road. You're going to hit that wall really hard, and you're not going to recover because why? That face going to get old. That wig ain't going to look right. That that body ain't going to be as what it is right now. And you know what? A guy in his 30s or a guy in his 40s, he going to go after the hot new young 20-something-year-old. And that is the truth. He's going to be like, why should I settle down with this old chick? Her prime years is up. Meanwhile, I can get myself a hot young 24 year old 25 year old no rich guy is going to be like all right well i can i can settle for this just because she put extra makeup on oh no because when that makeup come off oh no he gonna he gonna walk up out of there real quick i'm telling you guys i'm telling women right now if you keep up with this mindset you gone you gonna hit that wall really hard trust me how do I know? Because no disrespect to Mom Dukes, but she she lost everything. The type of guy she want ain't nobody want her. So what's she doing? Sitting in the basement with the dude she's engaged with. She ain't even like because old age got to her. Because her mindset got to her. Listening to the wrong people got to her, and that's very true. <laughs> It, it, yo, this is this this is madness, man. It's not you. Sit down. Have your phone. Yeah. Like, I'm just I'm not attacking you or anything, but I'm just saying like there's so much to yeah, like. Yeah, like, yo, hold on. Like, let's just go back real quick. It's not you. Sit down. Have Stupidity. Your phone. That's all I hear right now. Yeah. Like, I'm just I'm not attacking. Yo, my man in the black shirt, all the way to the what my right or whatever. He's sitting there saying to himself, yo. I can never find, well, I don't like to say the N-word. I cannot ever find a girl that I always want because uh, today's society, uh, social media, I'm not ever going to. It, it, it's sad, bro. A lot of you dudes who going to become purple pill, y'all going to suffer, bro. Y'all going to suffer. I'm, I'm Trust me when I tell you, y'all going to suffer. A lot of you dudes are gonna get white, are gonna want to get, are gonna end up marrying the gold digger, or a chick who got piped out by so many dudes, and you ain't gonna know how. Speak facts. You or anything, but I'm just saying, like, there's so much to life. Like, come on, like, like you don't set out your life, and I'm just gonna sit back and like accept the gifts and accept the man doing it. For you, I'm but a good come on, you can do something. Oh. <laughs> Wow, this is ridiculous. Man. Okay. I'm a good receiver. Wow. Like, you, no, but I'm just saying, like, a little side hustle, yeah, a little something, like, a little... I would. I would like, have a business you as, have, a hobby, as a you know hobby. I mean? Maybe, uh, like... As a hobby. <laughs> yo, yo, let me, let me tell, let me tell you guys something about a business, or just as a, uh, you know how to run one your business turn it turns hobby first into a business that means if you're gonna take it seriously you're gonna put in more than six hours into it to keep it running there's no such thing as a business as a hobby there's no such thing 
That's facts. There's no such thing as your business is a hobby. Not unless you have like crazy money you can just throw at it just to keep it afloat. You're not. You're not Sean John. I mean, you're not Diddy. You're not Jay. Because once it dies out, that's it. It's done for. Wow. Lipstick, but nothing Ladies and gentlemen, oh, not like, I was just saying respect Hi. yourself. Okay, like, guys. Go. It craw. Come on, babe. You need to respect yourself. My girl, you have a degree. Use it. Mm. And a man even paid for it. Like, come on, you can put a little bit of work in and, you know. Get a you know what? You know. No, you. All this stuff this guy is saying is flying right over her head. She don't care. She don't care about that. She don't care about longevity. That's why we say. That's why I tell some guys, yo, women don't care about longevity, man. They only live in the moment. They say, oh, I want this guy to take care of me, take care of me for a long time, but yo, they only live in the moment. I want to say this because some of you, some of you, some of you have said this. I just want to, some of you have said this. The guys here are attacking her. We're not attacking her. It's the ideology. It's the ideology. It's not. It's not attacking. It's just that, yo, like, you, you actually think like this. That's, that's not attacking. <laughs> oh, never. You're not saying it. You be part of it. Wait, Lonnie, Lonnie, please stop speaking for her. Like, I want to hear her. I want to hear her. Wow. Do, do, you, do, you, do you know what? Do you know what? Yeah, do you know what? Before, yeah, we were talking before, yeah, I respected you in the sense of, like, that's what you wanted. And that is cool. And that's proper. Now, there's, there's dreams and there's reality. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> no, 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 I've heard your point. I've heard your point. Now, let me say my... Let me... My man touched on a, on a good point and like, in, in terms of like, if you give a man too much power, yeah, I'm telling you, he's not going to respect you the way you respect okay. Just because, just because it's paying for you, you know, it's paying for this, it's paying for that, yeah, like he said, he practically owns you. Okay. It, wait, wait, and yeah, yeah, that's no problem, but is that a kind of life lifestyle? Wait, 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 wait. So did you ever really love him or are you just waiting for the circumstances? There's no love. Set? There's no love. Oh wait, there's no love. Oh my there's God, no there's no love. No love. No, yeah, for right now, let's say in the next month, he yeah okay this this is this is where she messed herself up there's no love right so that millionaire guy you want so badly cheats on you or you know has or is dating multiple women you feel like you're the only one sh he's supposed to treat there's no love right there is none so you're basically saying he can throw all these gifts at you and he can do that with other women you can sit there accept that i don't think any woman in the world or a woman with common sense would want a guy like that if you are then you're that's fine by you but i don't think any woman who appreciates or who has this uh, uh gd mentality gold digger mentality would not accept the fact that a guy is dating other women or cheating on her with other women or showering other women because let me tell you something, women do not like sharing. A lot of women do not like sharing. I'm going to keep that a buck. Wow. In her situation, there's no love. In her situation, there's no love. In her, situ in her situation, oh my. Right now, but I was gonna say No, 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 they let all the girls. Alright. Alright, you guys are you guys are saying, yeah, that you're not attacking her, but number one, it's not what you're saying, it's how you're saying it. At the end of the day, I've had guys pay for my holidays and not ask me for nothing. I've had guys take wait, holiday, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop, 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 stop. If a guy is taking care of you or, or paying for you, treating you out to dinner or whatever. Uh, you know, spending time with you, and he only wants one thing. That's that's what's in between them legs. No disrespect to you two, but that's what he wants, and he's gonna get it. He's not gonna sit there. Oh, I really like you, and I really enjoy your company. I like spending time with you. No, he 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 wants some yeeks. <laughs> he want to dig them guts out. Period. Shout out to Steph is cold. There's no such thing as a guy just taking care of you. Even as a GF, like, it's not like she's supposed to, but I give you time, you give me guts, right? In a relationship, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? You spend time with each other, we have fun, we do our thing. There's no such thing as a guy just doing doing all these nice things and he doesn't he doesn't get what he wants in the end. <laughs> it's no, yo. <laughs> oh, my God, man. What the?
the hell? Hey, <laughs> shush, shush, be quiet and you'll hear what I'm saying at the end of the day, yeah? Fair enough, it may be different, but it's the principle that he's spending money off of me on me and not getting nothing. No sex, no nothing. You're not getting no, nothing. No, no, there's, no there's no such thing, shorty. What are you talking about, bro? I don't want it, you can't work. Okay, but that's not what I'm talking about right now. I hear you, but I get you. Yeah, <laughs> but that's Wait, why you gonna... <laughs> My thing is, yeah? No, but if that's what she chooses to do, why are you so pressed? Yo, why are you so pressed? I understand. No, no, no. She's trying to do that. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just say something? I understand what you're saying. How can you marry someone? How can you marry someone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How can you marry someone? I'm not listening. Wait, wait. No, no, no. How can you marry someone? I say for better or for worse, yeah? And when it gets worse, you want to leave. It's for rich. She says, you're not listening, but. Are you hearing what you're saying? Like, hell, no, 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 no. This mindset, this whole way of thinking, it's what's wrong with society. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's killing our people, it's killing relationships. <sighs> you're not listening. Not everyone marries for love. Not everyone marries for... Pardon? Not everyone marries for love. They don't get married then. People get married for love. No, but they don't get married. It's not for love. Woo! This is why divorce rates are so high, because people are getting married for the wrong reasons. You can't get married for the wrong reasons. Love isn't the right reason. No, 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 the the bad the bad guys the guys who were toxic the guys who were you know what I'm saying who were um manipulative guys who were narcissists uh um guys who just cause a lot of drama or I'm not gonna say you know hitting women but who who have cheated you gave that to them but what about the good guy who wanted to build something with you who wanted to who wanted to help and help you out and and you know have a happy um, life with you. What about those guys? Oh yeah, that's right. You left them over there in in case of hope. You see what I'm saying? Like you know, these women say, these women say they want all this stuff. They want this millionaire guy to do that, but you know what's you know what's gonna happen? These some of these millionaire dudes, they gonna treat her the same way the bad guys treat her. So how could you, what, what, come on now, come on, come on now, come on, come on ladies, really, come on. Sometimes maybe people have to marry because I, I, I bring this, I bring this many cows, and you bring this many cows, let's bring our empire together, it's not always about love, she, so what she's looking after, that's, so what she's, sorry, what she's after, that's good. You, you bring nothing. For her, and I don't think you have to judge her for it. Guys, let's be. I am so glad that that one person who commented on my youtube channel what two years ago told me i should create this type of content shout out to him and i'm glad women exist so i can like do these type of videos man it's just sad bro it's just it's just really really sad like ladies you y'all gotta like open up and you realize like yo this ain't it this ain't the wave this ain't the wave, man. This is not, that's not how you're supposed to think. A bit intelligent here, okay? Back in the day, I would marry you. Yeah, see, back, see, 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 back in the day, back in the day. But now, we're talking about right now. There must be a means to it. There must be a reason to it, okay? Me personally, these days, I need a man who can take me here. Again, I need a man that can take me here, and this is a you want a guy to take you to nice, fancy places, take you shopping, take you this, that, and the third. But when them doors are closed and you want love and all that, he's not gonna care about that, shorty. Oh man, you don't have to get married to be happy, you don't have to get married. That, that's it? That's all? She looks... I don't know. She don't even look great, number one. Um, number two, that's all she has to do is bring looks? 
Bro, we do have lives. We do have to pay tax. She does have to pay taxes. She do have to vote. She do have to do all these things. Yo, these women are crazy. Money does not do everything. That's her business. That's her business. Money, money, money. money, money if it's not you, money, money. Money. She got all of this here. She got all of debts paid for all that stuff here without, without being married. My issue is you don't have to get married. If your marriage is not for you, don't get married. She's, she's, well, she's married. married. I want marriage. She's, I want she's, marriage. She's, she's being married to be looked after. Yeah. She's you being want, married to be looked after. Yeah. You want marriage, but with a mindset like that, you think a man is going to tolerate that? For a long period of time, no, he is not. Not unless he's a complete pushover. No, no, no. No, she's not gonna clean. She's not gonna clean. I'm not cleaning, by the way. I'm not cleaning up cooking. She's a clean. So all you want to do is sit there and exist. So you don't want to clean. You don't want to cook. What about your kids? Like you're not. How, are your kid? How are your kids gonna learn? What the? The the nanny is gonna take care of it. What uh, uh cleaning service people are gonna take care of it? No, 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 no. When you have kids, ladies, you have to teach your kids the right things to do in life so they can learn. <laughs> Man, this this I, this has got to be a joke, right? <laughs> yeah. This is this has got to be a joke. No wonder why it's trending on TikTok, man. Oh my gosh! Shout out to Stephis Cole as well, man. She's a, she's a queen. She's a queen. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, that that girl who yeah she's starting to realize like yo I'm making a mistake siding with these women right here because this is this is bozo thinking. You know what's crazy too? It's women at my job who think that way. Still. Who think that way? Oh, sh not going to get the yeah, you're not going to get the guy your dreams, ladies. Even if you do, you're going to see the harsh realities. You're going to be like, "Oh, I need to get saved. I need Jesus." Come on now. Because it's obvious. You're asking stupid questions. Guys, guys, guys. But she says stupid things. I know, but why don't you understand what she's saying? It's like you're so dumb. She's going to be a princess. So I see wait. Everybody and she's gonna treat him like a peon, not like a king. Yeah, wait, right. everybody has a different direction for their life, okay? I just asked her a question. That Would is you a be terrible happy direction. To be someone's third wife. What was your answer? Yeah, if he was a billionaire. See, everybody has a different direction. She's not, she doesn't want to marry for love. She wants Let me tell you something else, too. There are not a lot of billionaires out there. They're not. There's not a, there's. There's millionaires out there. There's guys who do make millions, but is that possibility they can lose it all too? Because this is a thing called life, <laughs> ladies. There's a thing called life. <laughs> it's life that we have to think about. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you can be you can be with a guy who got it all, and then like six months to a year, he can lose it all. Then what you gonna do? Oh, I can get another one. Married for convenience. You see, in this life, not all fingers are the same. Some people marry for love, and some people marry for convenience. Ikra has made it very clear that she's ready to. And that convenience is not going. Oh, and that convenience is not going to last for a long time. Auctioned off to the highest bidder. Okay, <laughs> that's what she wants. So uh, this, each this to their own. Really um, motherhood. I want. I want to be a mom. I want to be a mom. Like I, I'm so passionate about that. How you gonna be a mom? How you wanna be a mom? But you can't. You, you don't know how to show your kids how to cook and clean. That's the. <laughs> Come on now. Like is how how you gonna wanna be a mom? You don't even know how to show your kids how to cook clean. What are you gonna do? You gonna show your you gonna show your daughter how to look good and exist? With gowns and makeup? Come on now. Oh, man. To a man you don't love. That's it. So, so, no, but that's the argument. She Did said what she wants. She said, let's move okay, on. Can so we move on? Can we move on? Question. Yeah, let's move on. Taking it back to the scenario, yeah? I want to throw two things in the air because we've taken it away from the fact that we haven't heard this woman's perspective. She may be ex extremely happy with the way her husband treats her. And there are two things about men, yeah? He's either a sugar daddy or a pushover. You don't know a man's true and honest personality until he has money. 
until he's boxed up. She may be extremely Rockstar? happy with the way he is as a dishwasher. That is how she wants him to stay. Nobody needs to get involved in that. Because if he starts boxing up and changing her attitude on him, she may not be able to stay in that relationship. True. Number two, yeah, men um, are as faithful as their options. Mm. If he starts getting boxed up, he might cheat on her. And he doesn't, she doesn't want that. So she likes the position they're in. So we have to consider those things. You can't just put yourself in people's situations and say, oh, it's three times. You can't be making three times more than your husband. It's not straight away from reality. That is the truth of the matter. Hi, hi, hello, hey, hi, hi, cool. Simple, yeah. The issue with that whole scenario right now is when crisis start happening in the relationship. Thank you. Like I just said, I didn't even pick up on that last night. Like I just said, things do happen. Like I say, things do happen. Not just in relationships. It's just, you know, business or just life. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It doesn't have to be money. Shut man, you don't pay the bills. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, there, 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 is no, there is no say on the man's side because a man cannot say anything. Because I, I can't lie. If things get heated, that would be my response. <laughs> That's me. If you're put, if you're keeping your man boxed down, I have there's two things. You're either scared that if he does blow, he's gonna elevate too much, and you're not gonna be the one that boxed. Okay, can I number two, mm. okay, number can I two. Just... He hasn't finished. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now nah, I've just lost my. Okay, can, I just <laughs> can I just say something? I'm just like irritated at the fact that my you're head hurts. Yourself as a woman. You're going We're, into a marriage. What? Right? We're still there. Let's move on now, Jay. Please, let's move on. Why are you angry? Let her value herself the way she wants to value herself. What's your? It's it's not anger. It's just like yo, you. It's just like you know when. That one person who you just cannot stand just like says the most ignorant stuff. It's just like, why are you talking? I just realized I do got two different tires. <laughs> why, are you, why are you so mad? Jay Edwards is just a small little boy. I can just put him in my handbag. He's a little boy, yeah, but boy you like have him. the mindset of a child. <laughs> Wow, you know what I'm saying? There's a thing called we all got to grow up. Like, even myself, you know, we, we all got to, like, grow up. But come on, man. You you think like that? You think that's going to last? Come on. I'm not the boys that I'm going for. And they're certainly not the men that I'm checking for. It's just, it's not for me. And the guys that you are checking for won't ever go after you. Because let me say this, too, right? There was a video AMS reacted to. It was this woman who wanted this well successful actor guy and all she wanted him to do was just take him on dates, take him on dates, buy her stuff, take him on date, take her on dates. You know what that guy did? Said, "Okay, you cannot do anything else. You can you cannot just like, you know, let's just kick it and chill. I'm gonna go to somebody else." And that's what that's what he did with a different woman. Right? And now what happened to that woman? She's salty as hell because she know he ain't, she know she cannot get another one of those and he moved on in life. That's what successful guys do. Most smart guys, they're, you know, they're calculating, okay, is this woman good for me long term? If not, I do have other options and I can pick and choose what I do. Like how women can pick and choose. Oh, uh, he broke. He ain't this. He ain't that. He got this. He ain't got that. Let me keep those two and then let me get rid of the others. That's what the successful guy is going to do. That's facts. <laughs> like, like a, uh, like, like a dude in, let, let's just, let's break it down to high school, right? I, I don't want to take too long. Like the guy in high school, like he smashes seven chicks. He don't he don't need all seven chicks. He can kick two of those out and get two one two more in in, in there. That's point blank period. I would like you should at least go in there with somebody at least you can hold your own. You yeah, yeah she got a degree. Jay, yeah, yeah, she has she got a degree that she ain't even using. Tata, let her value herself the way she wants to value herself. I, I hate the way they've turned washing dishes into something that's feminine. It doesn't have, it doesn't have anything to do with, oh, like, if you're crap. in a relationship and you're holding blood. down the home, as it is, because let's let's be very honest here. 
There's a lot of girls that say, I'm a boss, I'm a boss. What does that mean if, you're, if you can't provide more? But she doesn't wash dishes. Only he does. Right, before 1945, yeah, before 1945, every single woman was at home. Every single woman was doing their jobs. There was no problem within that. Um, Sitting at home, washing dishes, taking care of the house, not your job. She is... Yeah, she is right. Like, you know, back in those days, they were the woman who stayed home, but that wasn't their job. Pretty sure back then they could have left. When you guys obviously all died, now we had to step in and then look after the country. Oh, girl. And then we, things we have changed. The economy has gone up. There are things that have changed. Yes. Yeah. Now we need two incomes. See, this, on. okay. No, no, one more thing. See how this is a walking contradiction? Things have changed. So, you know, things have changed. So what does that mean? Basically, she's going to, you think a, a guy who has like the luxury money to just like throw it at you and to take care of you, yo, it's a lot harder nowadays, period. This is the, the walking contradiction I'll be saying, man. Holy crap, man. I recall ourselves is a boss because since we, the human beings came to this world, you guys had the rights for everything, yeah? It's Sweat, true, it's wait, true, it's true. Since 1940... Yeah, y'all want equality. Y'all gonna get it. Y'all gonna get it. I Keep talking this nonsense. Keep talking it. Y'all want equality. Yeah, you gonna get it. That's why a lot of dudes out here, they, they frustrated. We have rights, and look how long, look where we came. Just from... Doing what? Maybe politics and all that stuff, but doing what, though? 1940... To she'll keep coming we, closer the more you talk to That's very give true. Give us another 50 years. Give us another, give us another 50 years. Everyone wants to talk, but... Yeah, yeah. 50, when, yeah, yeah. When it was time... Yeah, I was saying this in my head, too. When it's, like, time for war and all that crap and bullets are flying at you. Oh, I cannot do this. I'm a woman. Out of here, bro. Oh, and then <laughs> jumping around, the room gets very hot. So, you know, I just want everyone to calm down because it's not... Going back to why do you call yourself a boss or woman a boss is because we had such a small time in our lifetime in this world that we had our rights and we came so far. Give us another 50, 100 years, woman will be the one that's ruling the world. We will be the prime ministers. We will yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what she's talking about. I, I, maybe, but I, don't, I doubt it because there's a thing called pressure, man, and I don't think a lot of women can deal with that pressure. Trust me, like I had a conversation with uh, one of my old agents, agencies. She's a woman. She runs it. She tells me it's it's a lot to deal with on an everyday basis. So I don't, you know, I don't think I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm done with this video. It's like mind blowing. Um, I did watch the rest of it, and it's just like a bunch of blah 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 blah. I'm done. Hit the like, comment, subscribe. If you want me to react to other videos, let me know in the comment section like I used to. I'm out, bro.